wild food field walks with Steve and Grill. And uh, they say we got to give this man a little bit of exposure. May we ask you, Stephen, uh, why eat wild food? What's it all about? A uh, number <laughs> of things. They're absolutely delicious. Some of the best gourmet foods in the world are growing wild. They're totally fresh, they're full of vitamins, and they're very, very plentiful. Have you brought along what is known as uh, an interesting specimen? I mean, of wild food over there. Um, I have a lot of things. One of the most surprising wild foods is the common cattail. This grows all over the world in marshy areas. This is the dead overwintered flower. This is actually the flower that looks like a cat's tail or a sausage, and it allows you to identify the young plant that's coming up in the spring. And uh, this is the part that you're eating at this time of year. Continue. Okay, the flower, uh, the, the shoot that you have now can be eaten in the spring right into the early summer. You peel off some of the tough outer leaves. And the immature flower, when it's still green, can be cooked as corn on the cob. Then the pollen from the flower can be used as, uh, as a nutritional supplement, or it can be shaken into a bag. And you, as a matter of fact, they sell bee pollen as a nutritional supplement in the health stores. And in that case, the bees land on the flowers, they drink the nectar, they get covered with pollen, and then they fly into the health store and dump the pollen on the counter. Let me ask my favorite young actress how she feels about Stephen Brill and his uh, activity. I think this is wonderful. Is there, I mean, If a lot of people start doing this and collecting uh, these wild... Uh, plants and so forth is there any danger that they will then become scarce or oh um, fantastic question will, will that threaten the environment That's no no it won't uh, these are weed plants and you use a little bit of discretion to pick only things that are very common and most of these plants are being constantly pulled out of the um, out of people's gardens and mowed down in parks because they uh, grow where they're not supposed to and they're very vigorous you can't make a meal out of rare plants they're too rare Mr. Uh, Raymond, uh, what do you think about uh... I think it's real interesting. It, it, it stri strikes me as interesting because in the play, uh, Pierre eats wild roots, and we've been going out and just picking things out of the grass, and I was really concerned that the actor wouldn't get sick, and I just feel real self-assured now. You can continue eating roots. <laughs> fabulous. Oh, you have to know which roots you're eating. It's hard to learn to recognize those wild um, roots. It isn't. Everything has uh, its own characteristics, as the flower with a cattail. This particular group of mushrooms which are safe ones actually disintegrate and turn into ink and uh, there are no poisonous mushrooms in this family you do want to refer to a field guy but uh, even with mushrooms which are the most difficult wild plants to work with if you have a family that has no poisonous members in it and you make a mistake within that family you might wind up the eating a woody mushroom and losing a few teeth. We've got our uh, friends from Jersey uh, taking notes. You going to be doing any uh, field walks in Jersey, uh, Yes. The 14th of May, we have um, Palisades State Park, and we have Monmouth Battleground Park later on in the year. And a number of people want to know where and when you will be leading all your walks. How do we get in touch with the... Uh, Wild uh, man, Steve. You give me a phone call. My number is plain to see. Oh, I didn't and, see that. Uh, give, yell it out one more time, anyhow. Two nine one six eight two five, and you'll be getting my schedule. Do you find herbs too, as, as well as food? Oh food? yeah, all kinds of herbs. As a matter of fact, the wild onion, which can be eaten as a as a scallion or as a um, as an onion or even as garlic, used as garlic is also a medicinal herb it will regulate blood pressure and it'll take poisons such as lead and aluminum out of the body and again in the health stores they're selling garlic in capsules mr marciniak you and i you and i are going to stick with the uh, steak and onions and i definitely think so uh, this is the best herb for repelling vampires too now you tell uh, me right after i've been don't tell my cat